talk. Let, let's just all figure out some sort of coordinated response rather than in working in our little pockets. I mean, sure, continue doing what you're doing, but let's just alert others to what you're doing so that we can all alert each other to what we're doing so that we've got support through this. And Rain is just a, a woman who woke up about two years ago who really sees a need to coordinate people because we don't have any coordinated response. It was interesting some of the comments I got from people on the video. I mean, people, the truth movement, I tell you, that's why they call it the truth movement. It's such a loaded term because everybody has their own truth when really it should be the freedom movement because as I've said so many times, the truth is no one knows what the truth is and that's the truth. But so many people have been programmed into, into colour fear, shape fear, number fear, word fear. It's incredible, fear, anything. And I said to Raina, you know, you're wearing a red dress. You know that's going to trigger people. And she said, well, what do you mean? I said, oh, you know, the lady in the red dress, there's always a woman in a red dress, you know, a woman in red in the Matrix, blah, blah, blah. She's going, really? I said, oh, yeah, yeah. And you've got a purple sweater on as well. That's a royal colour. So, of course, the red and the purple is going to trigger all these people. And she's going, nah, don't be ridiculous. And I said, yeah, yeah. You just watch the comments from the trolls, you know. And then somewhere through the video, she said, she used the word sustainable, how we need to create some sort of a sustainable response, you know, some group that, some community that works that is sustainable so we can weather the storm that's coming. And I said, hey, they're going to be up here for using the word sustainable because apparently the United Nations owns that word now because they use it. So it's interesting how people are triggered by these words because whatever response we create, folks, it does need to be something that can be sustained. So don't be triggered by the word sustainable. You know, we're not talking about um, whatever it is, um, um, sustainable development and all the stuff that the UN is talking about. I mean, the word sustainable is not owned by the UN. You know, triangles are not owned by the Illuminati. The color red isn't owned by the United Nations. You know, like people have number fear, they have shape fear, they have color fear. They're so willing to distrust anything. And like I said, I mean, the APA that uh, Raina's trying to do is just to come to the table and talk. Like she said, if you've got a better idea, hey, don't even sign up to the ABA, APA. We'll come to your table and talk. We just want to get everybody together and, and talking so we've got a common focus. Because the parasites that are running the world, folks, they might be in their different countries and have their different things they're doing and their different focuses that they have, but they all have a unified focus as well, which is the complete enslavement of mankind, all of mankind. And the one thing they're counting on is us never uniting, us never being able to put our egos down and us being programmed into shape fear and number fear and color fear and word fear and all the stuff that we're doing and distrusting everybody. Oh my God, she's using an eagle as her symbolism. So what? You know, it's an eagle. A lot of people use the eagle. Tartaria used eagles, uh, used owls. Nothing wrong with owls, nothing wrong with eagles. Just because they use these things, why can't we use them? You know, why can't we reclaim all of these symbols as our own if we're going to use symbols at all? I mean, it's got to the point. You know, if you're going to reach people, soon we're going to have to wear all grey and we'll have to sit with a grey background and we'll have to speak in sign language so that, you know, people don't think that we're doing anything secret and having any secret symbolism around. Of course, if we are using sign language, we have to be very careful not to put any secret Illuminati symbols in the sign language. I mean, it's ridiculous, folk. It's ridiculous, the level of programming with people and how willing they are to hack anything down that looks like it might create any type of unity. And unity is really what we need, folks. We really do.